Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will learn all about visual validation and we will also see Apply Tools which is one of the popular tools for visual validation. So we are going to go very basic step by step and learn what is visual validation, what is Apply Tools, how to use Apply Tools with Selenium scripts and we will also see how to accept and reject changes or ignore regions while doing uh, visual validation on our UI and during this session I will also discuss some useful tips with you. So let's get started and let us first see what is visual validation. Until now we have been using Selenium for doing our functional testing but we can also use some different tools along with Selenium to check the UI of our web applications and that will include checking the color, size and shapes of different elements, the locations, the positions and all these kind of UI elements. So visual validation is a service where we can validate the UI and check it appears correctly to the user and basically visual validation include testing of the UI components for their location, size, shape, color, pixel, resolution, fonts, layout, charts and so on. So this is basically we are looking at the UI and checking if everything is okay and it looks okay for the end user. So this is what visual validation is and now let us jump into Apply Tools and see how we can use Apply Tools step by step. So here I will go to Google and search for Apply Tools. And here you will get this website applytools.com. I will go here and here you can read about some uh, documentation and other information about Apply Tools. But now I will quickly jump into sign in I will click on this sign in button and here you can go to create an account click here and you can give your details and quickly create an account in Apply Tools and then go to sign in so in my case I already have an account so once you have created an account you can go to sign in give your email and your password that you have used while signing up and sign into the Apply Tools dashboard so this will sign me in and show me my Apply Tools dashboard now here it is a very clean and neat looking dashboard and I will tell you about the different components of this dashboard in a moment. The first thing we have to do now is click on this run your first test. If you click here it will take you to applytools.com resources tutorial page. It will open in a new browser tab and here is a very simple four step procedure to get started. Step number one is we have to select an environment for automation and here you can see we have web mobile screenshots and other we are interested into web and again under web you can see different options we have selenium with different programming languages we have Vate, capybara protractor uft coded ui and so on we are interested in selenium java so i will click here and then step number two is we have to add the apply tools libraries into our java project so there are two ways if you have a maven project you can just add this dependencies into your pom.xml in case you are not having a maven project then you can download the jars or libraries from here from this button and then manually add into your java project now if i go to my eclipse and go to my project this is a maven project and i have a pom.xml file here so i can go to the end and just add this dependency so I will copy and paste this dependencies from Apply Tools and also I will show you if I go to Maven dependencies folder and go to the end here you can see the last jar under my Maven dependencies is this curves API jar and now as soon as I will save my project I will have all the dependencies for Apply Tools so I will first ident it using Control I and now I will just save my project and you can see here you can see after this curves.api curves api jar you have so many other jars added ice selenium ice common and so many other jars added so this is one of the major advantage of using a maven project is I don't have to manage all these dependencies I will just give this dependency section here and all the related dependencies will be taken care by maven so I have done step number two which is adding the libraries for apply tools now let us go to step number three which is running your first test and here we are going to use this particular application this is a demo application from apply tools and if you go to this application you can see this is a simple hello world application and here if you go to this 
appletools.com hello world it will be shown like this and this is always constant so if we compare this it will always give a pass but if you go to this click on this diff one you can see the url changes it is hello world question mark diff one and the number here changes so we will see if appletools is able to catch this difference or not and if you go to diff two it will change the number and some other components as well so there are more differences here and we will see if apply tools is able to catch these differences or not so here if you go back you can see a code they have already given a selenium java code which you can directly use so i will go to my eclipse and i will create a new class i will go under my demo package you can create a class anywhere i will do a right click new class and I will name it as Apply Tools demo and finish and here I can just copy the function from Apply Tools so I will take this function which is the main function here and I will just copy it from here and go back to my code and paste it here so you can see our function is has come here and now of course there are some imports that I have to do so if I hover over web driver I can import org open QS selenium web driver here and of course as I have told you in some earlier session you can press Control shift o on your keyboard if you are on windows and if you are on mac you can press command shift o to res resolve all the imports but I will do one by one here I will go to I will take this from org open QA, selenium chrome and then eyes this I will take from Apply Tools, and this option you will get only after you have added the Apply Tools library. And now this is the important step: you have to add your Apply Tools key here, API key. So you will get it here if you go to your Apply Tools account, and you will see this user icon here. If you click over this user icon, you will find this My API key option, and here is your API key. You can take it from here, copy, and give into your code. This API key is also present in the email that comes from Apply Tools after you sign up. So you can take it from there as well. And also let me resolve this rectangle size again from com.applytools.is. And then this buy is coming from Selenium, org open to Selenium. So we have resolved all the imports. Now let me quickly tell you the code here. So the first thing is we have to initialize the eyes SDK and set your private key so this is the first step that you have to do we will create an object for eyes class that is from apply tools and then we will say eyes dot set API key and give our API key here and then we will say eyes dot open so this is the starting point where apply tools will start observing our application and here the syntax is we have to pass our web driver here and then the application name whatever name you want to give then the test name whatever test name you want to give and the size so if you hover over this open you can see this is driver app name test name and the viewport size and then this is our uh, normal selenium commands driver.get and now wherever in your application you want to create a checkpoint or you want to check the UI you have to use eyes.checkwindow and give any name to this checkpoint so you can see after going to this application after going to this url we are doing eyes.check window and giving the name hello to this check and then we are clicking on the button there and then again we are creating another checkpoint eyes.check window and giving the name click here so this is how you can use apply tools within your existing selenium code you don't have to do a lot of changes you just have to add your library initialize apply tools eyes like this and then wherever you have to check first you will do eyes.open and then wherever you have to do a check you will add eyes.check window and give any name to that particular checkpoint and that's it our code is ready and now one thing I have to do is I have to give the location of my Chrome driver exe the Chrome driver exe I have here under my drivers folder I have Chrome driver and this is Chrome driver.exe so let me just copy the path here this is the location of Chrome driver.exe I will copy it from here and here I will say system dot set property and the property name is web driver dot chrome dot driver and the value is the location 
of my Chrome driver exe which is this one okay and on Windows it comes as the path comes with double backslash so you can also change it to a forward sing single uh, forward slash which will work on Windows and other operating systems as well but double backslash will work on Windows so that is fine for now and I will save this and let us try to run this so I will do a right click run as Java application so this should open a Chrome browser and then it should resize the window yes and it should go to hello world application and yes and if you go to your apply tools eyes you will find if you refresh this you will find this test results here and you can see the first test result has come and of course this is the first time we have run this so it is coming as pass and there is nothing to compare because this is the first time we are running so there is no baseline image against which it can compare so it will always pass the first time and it will store this image or these checkpoints as the baseline and the and every subsequent run will be compared against this baseline so this is pass and you can see we had two checkpoints hello and click that you can see in your code as well so if I go to my code we have the first checkpoint here which we named hello we have the second checkpoint here which we named click and the same thing you can see in your results this is hello and this is click and everything is pass now when we will run it for the second time then actual comparison will happen so for every subsequent run it will compare let me run it second time and it opens a chrome browser resizes the window and goes to hello world and if you go and refresh here you can see this is running the second test is in running status as of now and let me refresh it again and you can see now it is done and it is passed and of course it is passed because we there were no changes and here you can see it shows equals on this image that means it has matched the baseline it shows equal on this image so that means it has matched the baseline now there are some other options let me quickly tell you that so for that what I will do is I will use this URL so that there are some differences which is diff1 and you can see the URL changes here I will copy this and go to my code and I will go to this URL here and now let us see what happens I will paste this and run it again so this is now running go to a chrome browser and it will go to the URL yes and if I go to my apply tools dashboard now and do a refresh so now you can see it is now coming as unresolved so this is one important thing whenever there will be any differences it will not show as failed it will show as unresolved because those differences can be planned differences also and now let me show you if you click on this image you can see the pink portion shows the differences if you click here you can see this is the changes and let me show you if I go and show the let me show you the checkpoint image here you can see this is a drop down where you can select the comparison you want exact or you want strict or you want content only or layout so you can select it from here and then you can either zoom in or zoom out or do it 100% here and then you also have this radar so it will show you the differences so sometimes it happens that your differences are very small and this is a very neat and clean application but the actual applications have so much data and content if the difference is very small it is uh, very difficult to view so you can always do this to highlight differences and here you can say show both so either you can see the baseline the checkpoint image or show both side by side so you can see the differences so you can see this is the baseline image where the number here is one two three four five six and in the checkpoint image it changed and therefore it is showing the differences and then here you can also ignore regions so if I say ignore region here and I can ignore this particular region and then if you want to accept this change as a baseline for the next run you can uh, click on this thumbs up and you can accept the differences and the checkpoint image of this step or you can accept it for all similar differences or if you think this is an actual issue then you can reject it so this is all available here 
and also let me show you this ignore region if you want to ignore this region so let's say this is a dynamic region and we know that this will always be coming as a different number so I can ignore it and I can say ignore this particular region so this region will be ignored in comparison and now if I go back and here I can accept or reject it so let me reject these changes I will reject this and this as well and then save it okay and now let us go to the other URL which was difference 2 so diff 2 and let us see if AppliTools is able to catch all these differences or not so I will go to my code and change the URL again and run this again so this goes to a chrome browser resizes the window and go to that URL and if I go to my AppliTools dashboard and click on refresh so it is still running and let me refresh again and you can see now this is unresolved and now you can see there are so many other differences as well so if I go here and you can see the differences and if you click on this you can highlight the differences or you can use this to zoom on one difference and then zoom on the other difference so all this will be shown here okay and then of course you can see both the baseline and checkpoint image or only the checkpoint image and let me show you all these changes so you can see all the changes are here and then you can accept or reject the changes you can ignore region and you can see all these options here and of course this we can see here so this is uh, coming as not equal that is uh, there is a mismatch and I will reject these changes I will press the thumbs down button and save it so you can see all your changes here and this is how you can use apply tools so this is a very simple example and similarly you can use apply tools into your selenium scripts so this is all for today's session I hope this session was very useful for you for visual validation there are a lot of tools apply tools is a paid tool and you can check the pricing and if you think it is useful you can take it and there are other free tools as well that you can find you can go to google and search for free visual validation tools and you will get other tools as well i hope this all was very useful for you you can share your knowledge with others and if you face any issues you can send me a message and i will try to help you as soon as i can and i will meet you in the next video thank you for watching